today we're going to install brakes on the 2010 Honda Odyssey. Alright, I just got the replacement pads. Here they are. And here are the old ones. Compare them real quick. Look at the difference. Man. They still have some life to them. But it's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time to go. And it looks like these have some hardware already. Mm, don't know if I'm going to use the original ones. These are brand new. Looks like it's going to be covering everything anyways. I don't know if, for this gap. So I think I might just take these off and put them onto this. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is compress this brake caliper. Dual piston. And the way we're going to do that is by first opening up the hood. Whoops, gas one. Close the gas tank. <laughs> All right. Next thing we're gonna do is open up this brake fluid reservoir because it's gonna spill some out once we compress the piston in. All right. Took off the original one. Here's the new one. Throw a little bit of grease. It appears I cut the wrong end. <laughs> so now we're gonna add some grease. Just like so. Just rub it all back here. Perfect. Slap the old hardware on there. All right, now, we'll be, now that we have this one plain, we're gonna use this one to compress the pistons. So we're gonna stick this right there. We're gonna grab a big old C-clamp or C-press, C-clamp. We're gonna open that sucker up and compress it together. All right, once you have everything in place, start compressing it. I'm gonna need both hands to do this real quick. Let me see if I can do it real quick. Holding it down with my phone and compressing it. Well, there it is. It'd be a lot easier when you do this with two hands. All right, once you have both of the pistons compressed, you can see that they're nice and flushed. All right, now what we're gonna do is install the new brakes. All right, same thing with this one. Took it off, put some grease in the back, rub the grease. And what I did was just rub this on the cement. See, cleaned it up real nice and good. Now we're going to just slap it into place. All right. Now what we're going to do is grease up these joints here. And we're going to take these off, actually. Just twist these and pull these out. Just be careful not to rip the little boots. Oh, they're in there pretty good. There they are. All right. And you can tell these are a little dried. Look at that. Get that out of there. So we're going to add some loop to these because this is what actually slides both of the pistons back and forth. Well, actually, I'm sorry, the whole caliper back and forth. So if they're dried, you won't get a lot of uh, movement. So they need to be nice and slippery. And I'm trying to get the bottom one out because there's two of them. So I'm gonna get this one out and we're gonna slap some grease on these. This one is actually so stuck. I can't even get it out. I'm gonna have to work this one out. So it's a good thing I'm doing this. And this is the way I'm doing it with a flathead. And I'm just hitting the back with my hand. I'm using both hands so I can hit it with the other one in the back. Go ahead and drive that out real quick. All right, there it is. I got it out and the boot actually ripped on this one. So damn tight. 
it's okay but look how dry this is hella dried so we're gonna clean these off and with a wire brush and throw some grease on them all right so here they are nice and clean and we're gonna just stick them in here generous purpose lube and grease them up stick this one in there too and grease them both up oh, nice and good perfect all right and we're gonna put them back into place this one goes on top and this one was the hard one to get out won't forget that that's the bottom one easiest way to do this is to put the boot in first this one's the right one so we're gonna put this one at the bottom one and they go just right in there just like so it's the bottom one stick it in place just like that this one here stick it on top all right and stick that one into place perfect that's how it should be nice and bouncy this one we have to work this one a little bit. This one needs some more love. I think I'm gonna throw some more grease. I'm gonna clean it up and throw some more grease in there real quick. All right. It's a little bouncy. Not as good as this one up here. This one's hella good. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and move on forward. So this one here is gonna go on the inside. Oh. Got to throw some lube in here. Throw some lube in there real quick. Up here, down here. All right. So, like I said, we're gonna grab some grease and just slap it right here and up here. Same thing with the back one. Right in this little slot. And slot. All right. Perfect. This is the outside one. So this one's gonna go right in here there it is That's the back one and work that one whoops like that into its place I might need both hands because I can't see fiddly squat yeah let me do this real quick alright so there they are back in place sorry the light up there is just like horrible needs to be like perfect right here so now everything's in place uh, now we're gonna put the whole caliper back let me see put this flashlight back up here sorry about the horrible lighting it's dark out already all right that one has like so much compression it's like pushing everything out right there it is nice <laughs> all right so we're just gonna slap this on. Uh, man, I need both hands real quick. Oh, there it is. So I had to push these inside because they kept wanting to come out. That's good because they're nice and lubed now. See, look at it came back out. Well, I just wanted to show you real quick, but now the precedent. <laughs> Shit, I fucked up. See. All right. There it is. All right. Put in the bottom one. Right down here. And we're going to tie them down. Drive them in real quick. Tighten them just to make sure because it is the brakes. All right, <clears throat> that's how much more I was able to hand tie it, so it's worth it. Let's see, it's so hard doing it with one hand, man. <clears throat> Trying to collapse this damn thing, but I can't. 
jeez, look at that. Okay, perfect. Sweet. All right, now I'm gonna do the other side and then I'll show you how to compress everything together. All right, once you've completed the other side, we're gonna go ahead and slap in the rim. Next, we're gonna remove the jacks, the floor jacks. All right, the next step we're gonna do is drop the car down. Nice and gently. Grab our torque wrench. I already have it set to 94. So we can see it. There's the four, there's the nine. Soft by a little bit. Make a couple adjustments and let's torque them down real quick. See, that impact does a pretty good job. And just torque them all the way around. side as well I was gonna pause it but phone's not working with me so might as well just record it do is close the reservoir the reservoir bore is all full because we just you see the oil splashing out because we just changed the brakes compressed those pistons in now we're going to take it for a test drive real quick make sure everything is nice and properly working correctly first thing we're going to do is starter up all right I gotta check engine light on I already changed the top oxygen sensor now that check engine is for the bottom oxygen sensor fantastic right there no more check engine <laughs> all right so what we're gonna do is press on the brake whoa that sucker went all the way down Again, there it is. There it goes. All right, there it is. So let's go ahead and uh, give it a test drive. I live out in the country. There's my baby. Oh no, I can see it on. Looks like my other phone is on there. I see it. I need to turn it off before it drains the battery on it. Feels good. So working good. Freaking Hondas, man. Honda life. Because 
life is racing. flying forward <laughs> these brakes are good yeah 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 Honda life, look at Honda life. Honda life. Oh, it's too late now. It's all about the Honda life. Man. And this is the Honda too. Can I say, man, we love our Hondas. Good, reliable cars. Everybody's comfortable with them. Everybody loves the VTEC. <laughs> Down your man, VTEC's a drug. Sweet. Now the brakes on the front and the rear are done on this van. Fantastic. Sweet. That's how you do the brake job on a 2010 Honda Odyssey. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Get to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.